CS2 doesn't care how good your aim is if your system can't keep up. One frame delay in a gunfight, one stutter in a retake, that's all it takes to throw around. And most of the time, it's not the game. It's your PC running on default, bloated, background heavy settings. This isn't your average set to low graphics video. This is the 2025 CS2 FPS boost and lag fix guide. Let's stop playing on Windows terms and start optimizing like we actually game. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Game prioritization for CS2 through Registry Editor. Before we jump into editing the registry, let's understand what this setting actually controls. Your Windows system manages all running programs by assigning them different levels of CPU and GPU priority. Games like CS2 often don't get treated as top tier processes unless we manually change that. By tweaking a specific registry section, we can elevate CS2's priority at a system level. This means it gets more CPU scheduling time, better GPU focus, and reduced interference from background apps. Start by clicking on the search icon in your Windows taskbar, typing registry editor, then right click on it and choose run as administrator. This is an important step. Without administrative access, you won't be able to apply these performance level changes. Once the registry editor is open, take the registry path I've placed in the video description and copy it. Paste that path into the address bar at the top of registry editor and press enter. This will instantly take you to the correct registry location. No need to manually expand folders. At this location, you'll see several values that define how Windows handles GPU and CPU scheduling for gaming workloads. We'll now fine tune these to shift priority in favor of CS2 and create a more optimized execution environment. Affinity, double click this entry and change the value to F. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal before clicking OK. This allows all CPU cores to be available for CS2, removing limitations on core usage. Background only. Change the value to false. This will tell Windows to treat CS2 as a foreground application, even if other tasks are running, ensuring it's never deprioritized. GPU priority. Set this value to E again with hexadecimal selected. This increases how much GPU power is routed towards CS2, especially helpful during utility heavy rounds or map transitions. Priority, set this one to six. This grants CS2 higher than normal scheduling, which means it gets more CPU time when multiple apps compete for processing, scheduling category. Set this string value to high. This improves task execution priority in a multitasking scenario and ensures CS2 doesn't take a backseat to services or updates. SFIO priority. Change this to high as well. It boosts CS2's foreground I.O. performance, which can help reduce micro stutters caused by disk or memory delays. After applying all these changes, you're effectively telling Windows that CS2 is your system's top priority. As a result, you should experience faster input registration, more stable frame rates, and reduced background interference, especially on low-end or mid-tier systems running tight on resources. Step 2. Apply CS2 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack for Maximum Performance Alright guys, this is the moment where real performance gains begin to show. Everything up until now was laying the foundation, but this next step combines automation, system level tweaks, and tailored CPU control to push CS2 performance to a whole new level. Whether you're struggling with random lag spikes, stutters during smokes, or unstable frame pacing during heavy rounds, this pack is engineered to fix all of that. Start by visiting uptopacks.com, my official website. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll instantly spot the CS2 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack. The thumbnail will match this video so there's no confusion. Just hit download. It's a direct one-click process, no installer or extra setup required. Once downloaded, open the pack and head into the registry folder. 
Inside, you'll find multiple registry files. These are handpicked and configured to enhance system responsiveness, reduce background interruptions, and push more resources toward gameplay. Install each file one by one by double-clicking them and accepting the prompt. These will silently apply performance-boosting tweaks that target core Windows functions tied to gaming. After that's done, go back to the main pack and open the folder named Counter-Strike 2 Priority. This part customizes how your CPU handles CS2, based on your system's specs. If you're on a low-end system, install the normal priority registry file. For mid-range setups, go with the medium priority option. And if you're running a high-end PC, use the high priority file. This ensures that your CPU distributes power and scheduling time in a way that fits your hardware, preventing bottlenecks and improving in-game consistency. Next, open the tool included in the pack called Run With Affinity. Most players skip this, but it's a powerful way to guarantee CS2 uses every available CPU thread. Start the program, click on Select Program and hit the three dots. Navigate through your directories. Steam apps, Common, Counter-Strike 2, Game, Bin, Win64, and select the cs2.exe file. Once selected, look at the processor section. It should automatically detect your maximum thread count. If not, manually set it to match your CPU. So if you've got 16 threads, select all 16. This unlocks the full multitasking power of your processor, specifically for CS2. Now click, Create shortcut, give it any name you like, and save it somewhere accessible. Your desktop is a great spot. Use this shortcut to launch CS2 with optimized settings every time. Once everything is done, just close the tool and launch your game using that new shortcut. After applying this pack, you'll notice better system stability, faster game launches, and smoother combat even in chaotic 5v5 gunfights. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in CS2, we'll be using Gear Up Booster. First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If CS2 is already listed, they're perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Counter-Strike 2 and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on CS2, then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scamming for the best server. Next, it'll ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open, showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab, where you can manually switch servers if needed, or stick with automatic mode for consistent pin performance. Finally, close the window and launch CS2 directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes, and a much smoother experience in CS2. Step three, disable memory, integrity in core isolation for extra CPU headroom. Before diving into this setting, let's first understand what it really does and why it affects your gameplay. Core isolation, and more specifically memory integrity, is a security feature that uses virtualization to isolate critical processes from potential threats. While it's great for protecting your system, it also constantly engages your CPU at a deeper level, even during gameplay. This hidden CPU load can create micro stutters input delay, and even random FPS drops, especially in fast-paced shooters like CS2. To apply this, click on the search bar and type Core Isolation. Click on the first result that appears. A settings window will open labeled Core Isolation. Here, you'll find the memory integrity toggle. If it's enabled, switch it off. You might get a prompt or warning about reduced protection. Just confirm your choice and restart your PC if asked. This will fully apply the change and release the reserved CPU resources that were previously locked down for virtualization-based protection. Once disabled, your system will free up subtle but critical CPU power that would otherwise be used for background security tasks. For players with entry-level or even mid-tier CPUs, this can translate into smoother movement, 
faster reaction times and fewer frame drops in competitive moments without needing any advanced tools or tweaks. Step 4. GPU control panel tweaks for consistent CS2 FPS. Before we adjust any settings, it's important to know why this matters. Modern GPUs are designed to balance power efficiency with performance, which sounds great on paper, but in competitive games like CS2, even minor dips in GPU responsiveness can cause stutters, lag during duels, and unstable FPS during intense fights. By manually overriding the default behavior, we can force your GPU to run at full potential, prioritize performance over visuals, and ensure that it stays consistent throughout your entire match. These changes don't involve any third-party tools, just your GPU's official control panel. If you're using NVIDIA, open the NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting it. For AMD users, open AMD Radeon settings. The layout may differ slightly, but the options work in a similar way. Once inside, go to the section called Manage 3D Settings, or its equivalent on AMD, like Graphics, Gaming, Global Settings. The first thing to adjust is Power Management Mode. Set this to Prefer Maximum Performance. This prevents the GPU from dynamically lowering its clock speeds while playing. By keeping it locked to its highest performance state, you avoid sudden FPS dips and gain smoother transitions between frames. Now scroll down to Texture Filtering Quality. Set this to High Performance. What this does is reduce the extra effort your GPU spends on high detail textures, which most players won't notice mid-combat. This step significantly lowers GPU load and allows more bandwidth to be focused on real-time rendering, key for smoother crosshair tracking and stable visuals in clutch moments. Once both settings are applied, close the control panel. From now on, your GPU will run with maximum responsiveness, offering more stable frame rates and lower rendering latency, especially during high action gunfights or utility heavy situations in CS2. Step five. Optimize Steam client settings for maximum CS2 performance. Let's begin with a step that often gets ignored but can make a big difference. Optimizing your Steam client. While Steam itself isn't a heavy app, its background services, UI animations and unused features can quietly drain CPU and memory resources. And in a game like CS2, where timing, responsiveness and smooth frame pacing are everything, even these background loads can introduce micro stutters or affect input latency. By trimming down Steam's footprint, we give your system more room to focus on delivering raw in-game performance. Start by launching the Steam client, then click on the settings option. In the sidebar, head to friends and chat. Here, disable the Steam avatar animations. These may seem small, but removing them lowers the animation workload running in the background while gaming. Next, switch to the interface section. Make the following changes. Set your default startup page to library. Avoids loading extra content. Disable text and icon scaling. Turn off the as which account text. Disable smooth scrolling, GPU acceleration and hardware video decoding. Now, head into the library tab and make sure the free performance enhancing checkboxes are enabled, such as low bandwidth mode and low performance mode. These further reduce Steam's background data fetching and animations. Next, open the Remote Play tab and make sure Remote Play is disabled, especially if you never stream games to another device. This stops Steam from running background services that you don't actually use. Lastly, go to the Broadcast tab and set Broadcasting to off. This prevents Steam from reserving system resources for features you're not using, which can lead to reduced CPU usage while CS2 is running. After completing all of these, exit the settings. You've now stripped away Steam's unnecessary overhead, which means more CPU power, less RAM usage, and better system stability, allowing CS2 to run with maximum responsiveness. So guys, that was today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. See you in the next one. Bye.